everyone I'm back at the cabin so you're gonna get another small video from me I'm just enjoying look at this a beautiful biscuit and apple matcha jam on top delicious we made these biscuits the other day and now my daughter wants um, to make a curry dish tonight but we have no more naan bread or pita bread so that's what we're going to do it's very simple and easy we're going to start off with a clean bowl okay okay i have some beautiful organic whole wheat flour now normally i don't measure anything but i'm going to try and do it for you Okay, obviously I won't be able to fit it in there, so I am going to use a smaller one. Okay, we're going to try and use a half cup so it's easier for me to get the flour. Okay, so that's a half. You want a little or a lot, Erica? So that's one and a half. Oh, you know what? I'm going to make two cups if there's extra. We could always do something else with it. Two cups of whole wheat flour. And of course, I'm going to put some salt. Here's the salt. My daughter brought her kitten. Well, she's not a kitten anymore. Okay. A little bit of salt. Salt is to taste. I don't mind it a little like flavorful. So I am going to put, let's say, about a teaspoon of salt. Uh, we're going to put uh, maybe some baking powder this time around. I make all different types. This one's going to have a little baking powder. Oop, maybe a lot of baking powder. And I'd say about maybe a half a teaspoon of baking powder. That's just going to help it push it up when it's in the pan. And we're going to mix this. And I'll tell you exactly how much water I'm going to use. Remember, when you make it, it's all by... It's all by feel. Okay, so I'm gonna take, I'm gonna start with a cup of water. And we're gonna put a little at a time. You wanna make a dough. My hands are in the way, right? Now there's no yeast in this. It's just a little bit of baking powder. We spent, well, maybe not the whole morning, cleaning off an iceberg on top of Erica's balcony in the back. There was so much snow there was a little bit of snow left that we didn't do last time and then it snowed. We weren't up here for like about a week and uh, that was it. Okay. Yesterday I used milk. Today I'm using water. But you can use milk to make these. Okay, so I used less than a cup. There's still some water left. I could use a little less because it got a little sticky on me. But if that happens to you, don't get scared. All you need is a dusting of flour and we'll be good. Maybe I should use a knife for that. Okay. Went off my finger. Now all we need is a dusting of flour. Very easy. So if you ever run out of bread, do not fear. As long as you got some flour, you're good. 
They're as good as golden. Now the wheat flour I'm using still has their germ. When we use flour, we try to use the whole flour because you get all the benefit. Take all the flour out of my bowl. cups of, of flour to almost a cup of water. Almost. There's a couple of, maybe a tablespoon of water left. Okay. Put this aside. And you're just going to knead it a bit. This is running away from me. Push it against my stove. Oop. It's a challenge. You've got to hold your board while you do this. I think Erica's going to make a butcher block. So we can make this on the butcher block next time. And I don't have to worry about holding the cutting board while I'm kneading. Now, believe it or not, if you make this a little firmer, you've made uh, pasta dough. Um, if you make pasta dough, I would say the best pasta dough is if you're using only semolina. But you could do half and half, half semolina, half whole wheat. That makes a beautiful pasta. And if you don't have a pasta machine, you can actually roll it out and make handmade and cut pasta this is gonna be bread for us but it's gonna be like either a naan bread or a pita bread okay here we go we still have a little bit of flour and we're gonna let it rest because that's what you want it activates the gluten it becomes a stretchier dough so I'm just gonna cover this break Erica's dishes. There we go. Cover it with a bowl and we're going to check it in a little bit and we're going to knead it again and then put it aside until we're ready to use it. And meanwhile, I'm going to enjoy this delicious biscuit that is made almost like this except I use lots of butter and then you spread in a cast iron pan Anyhow, you want a biscuit recipe, I've got a few of those up. Go check them out. You can make them flavored or you can make it plain and then do what you want on top of it. This is great with some cowboy beans. Delicious, delicious, delicious. So I'll see you in a little bit, guys. Mm. The more you need it, the more elasticity your dough gets. Isn't it simple? A lot of people are so intimidated. They say, oh, I can't make bread. I don't know how to make it. But if you have flour at home, you'll never go hungry. There's always something you could do with it. You can make dumplings. You can make pasta, pizza, bread. You can make uh, bagels. Uh, so many things. So many things. I'm just going to dust it and let it rest a little more, guys. Beautiful. Cover it and let it rest. So good. How's that? Is that good? You shouldn't be on the table. All right, guys. 
this out a while. Erica, do you have the, the cutter underneath this? If you can find me, my hands are dirty. Beautiful. Just be dusted a bit. Okay, so you do need flour to dust where you're going to roll it. I'm going to use a rolling pin. But it's so nice and stretchy. If you don't have a rolling pin, you can actually do it by hand. Too late. Too much late. You should have done it on the table. I know. She keeps telling me, do it on the table, but I always forget. Now, if you really want all your bread to be even, you're just going to divide it even. I really don't care if it's big or if it's small. This one might be way too big, so I'm going to... I don't mind having small ones. And I'm not... Sure. I'm not picky about if they're perfectly round either. Uh, maybe I'll do it a little bigger. Stick that underneath, flatten it up. Now, like I said, if you don't have a rolling pin, guys, do not fear. All you need is your hands and you just stretch it. That's what, let me see. That is why we had it sit. We had it sit so it has a lot more elasticity in the dough. Now this doesn't have yeast. All it has is a little bit of baking uh, a little bit of baking powder. And here in Canada they also call it magic. And you're going to roll it out. Let's put this down here a bit. We're just going to flower this board on this side where we're going to lay it down as we do it. You can't see it, but I'll show you. There it is. Another board that I'm going to just let it sit on. After I've rolled it you do want to separate it with flour and if you don't want to add extra flour then all you have to do is separate it with some parchment paper and I'm not picky about the shape that's the least of my worries so I put that aside and I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of flour and we're going to cut another one flour on the board I made a nice soft dough, so these are going to be super delicious. Now, I've made this with sweet potato. I've made this with pumpkin. I've made this with chickpea flour. And sometimes you just want... How stretchy that is. Beautiful. Sometimes you just want regular flour. Right on top of the other one. Sprinkle some flour on top of that. And we cut another one. It's only me and Eric up here, so there's going to be more than enough. And if you don't have one of these, you could also use a jar. You have a round jar. Or a glass if it's completely round. Now if you want, same recipe, maybe not roll it out so much. You could cut them 
and you can make strips this way this way and you can use it like a dumpling in a soup obviously you will put this after the soup is made otherwise they're just gonna overcook you can use it to make dumplings you could also make a non-rice pizza this makes a great pizza I've done it many of times I'm gonna push this down here I'm gonna cut this in two Remember, if you have flour, you have food in the house. I'm going to put a picture for you. Erica made such a delicious, uh, actually it's up on my Instagram if you want to check it out. We made a souvlaki type dish and we made homemade bread. So good. Next time Erica makes it, I'm going to tell her to record it for me. Yeah, if you want to make a pizza, obviously cut bigger pieces, roll it out, lay it on a grease dish, and then maybe add on top of the your dish that you're going to cook it in your tray your pan sprinkle some cornmeal it gives the bottom of the crust a nice nice texture to your pizza and then dress it like you would dress pizza in the oven it goes especially because it has a little bit of that magic powder or baking soda uh baking uh baking powder not baking soda i guess you could use baking soda I need it to fly right out of here. And you've got pizza, non-rice pizza. It takes two minutes to make this for your kids. I had it sitting here, but it really doesn't take long. Your kids come home and they're hungry. Ma, what can I have? All you have to do is put some flour and water together and make them a no-rice pizza. And let me tell you, they're going to love it. This one's a small one, but that's okay. Okay, off to the side. I'm going to put that one off to the side. I'm going to get rid of this. And I'm going to get a cast iron pan. I just want to wipe down the oven. If you want to see what this cabin looks like go to my other channel erica got it last year in the fall right erica what is it your cabin yes and she wasn't even supposed to get a cabin we've been working on her other property a little story i guess and we're cutting wood erica and i together we're cutting down trees and making room to put a nice tiny cabin there and just I don't know where this cabin came up and we said let's go see it and that was it Erica fell in love mm. and she put an offer she didn't even get it the first offer she put and she was a little disappointed, but you know, things happen, right? She still had property. She was still able to build something there. And next thing you know, she gets a phone call because we went to see this place in the summer. I think it was late summer, but it was still a summer. Or was it middle summer? I think it was around July, August. Anyhow, she didn't get it till late fall. But. We're very pleased. We love it here. It's very, very quiet. There's no one. She wanted peace, and that's what she got. All right. Okay, we're going to use a cast iron. Okay, you could see it. And we're going to put this on high and get it heated. I don't put any oil whatsoever. You can if you want. Okay, we're going to use this cutting board right here 
I'm not sure if you can see it, where we're going to put it once they're cooked. And we're going to have a towel. Where did our towel go? And this is going to help keep them nice and soft until we're ready for dinner. So I'm and just a small one to start. Okay. And these don't take long to make. I will be lowering it a bit. Put it away, Erica's nice. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna put it to a medium high. And like I said, these are gonna smoke a little, so you should have a fan going on. And you're going to see blisters. It's basically separating your bottom to the top. There we go. We're going to flip it. And it's just going to keep bubbling up and separating your dough. I'm going to lower my heat just a bit. I don't want them to scorch. Just keep flipping them back and forth. Now, if you don't have a cast iron pan, you can use any pan you have. But I love the cast iron. If you can, invest in one. Yeah. So I'm at a medium heat right now. And, uh, yeah, beautiful. Next. And if you let that dough rest, it really gives a nice elasticity to your bread. So that's it. I'm going to keep cooking these and uh, you're going to get to see what Erica's going to make later. Oop, come back here. Probably going to have a different lighting because it's going to get dark and she's going to have, unless she makes it early and we'll eat it later, she could do that too. I'm doing the edges. And last but not least, that's it. and that's it. So we'll see you in a bit when we're making the curry dish. It's going to be very simple. Remember, we're at the cabin. We don't always have the things we have in the city, but we manage to eat delicious food nonetheless. Okay, not sure if it got recorded, but Erica took some tofu and she just broke it into chunks. I don't think we need a plate here. I'm just going to put it over to the side here.
pretty this garlic is. Really? I'm showing how pretty the garlic is. And I'm cutting vegetables over here. you. I have a big bag of vegetables. I have cabbage, potatoes, tomatoes, and carrots that I am going to give to the deer later.
No, it's a C one. Where is it? At the bottom. You have to open up the little flap. Mm -hmm. you guys just know this. Holy moly. I just love being vegan. I found the best food to have vegan food. This is called make do what you have curry. Right? We do not have everything we need. But oh, sorry, is my arm in the way? Probably. Oh, sorry about mm. that. Make do what you have curry. That's curry.
Up here today? Hmm? It was almost 10. Above. Really? Yeah. Well, maybe over here because of the sun. Mm-hmm. Thank God. I know, it's still sunny. Well, springs are around the corner. I know. I can't wait, my God. Well, it comes fast. Yeah. It was beautiful. That was the first time I ever heard that. No, I got to experience that. Snowshoeing. Oh, not snowshoeing. 
because I feed on, it on a lake. Cross country. My first time snowshoeing. First time seeing all those beaver down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like I did not expect that around the bend. I was shocked. I thought we had one beaver down. Yeah, me too. Obviously they have a whole, have a whole family. <laughs> Should we um add chickpeas with this? I think I made a lot of sauce. This is not traditional. <laughs> no, it is not. Yeah. It's okay. It makes it's called make you at the cabin tikka masala. That's the name. Yeah. That's what we're gonna call this video. Food is food. It's always good, right? Mm-hmm. Like my mother would say, they all go down the same hole. Oh, sorry, man. I didn't mean to scare you. Okay, so we put some extra chickpeas just to bulk it up, and we're going to add our tofu. Erica, this looks and tastes delicious, by the way. Here, add it. So here's our tofu nuggets that Erica made just by pulling the tofu apart. And you just mix it in. And it's that easy. And that's that. It really is. I mean, most of the time you saw us sizzling, well, Erica sizzling the tofu, because you want it to get nice and charred. Charred. But this is it. Now we have some rice that Erica cooked. The only rice we have parboiled. <laughs> Doesn't matter. What, not the best. Not this the is best. not authentic Indian food. It's not. All. It's called make, make do make at the do. cabin. Make do, <laughs> make do at the cabin. Go. That's what this series is going to be called. Make do at the cabin. But look how beautiful this is. So we're going to plate this. And she, you want to I eat think she meat? added some parsley. You want to dried eat dried parsley on a plate or in a bowl? Uh, give me a plate. Um, what was I saying? I uh, put she dried parsley. Some, add some dried parsley. Is this too hot for me to handle? Yes, but you'll see it when I spoon it up. How's that? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. I'm so excited. I'm so hungry. Ooh. That's hot. Okay, I'm just gonna put it on the side, Erica. I didn't make a lot of rice, I just realized. That's okay. It's good. There's plenty of rice. Okay. Sorry, I'm already doing oh, I'm sorry, this is amazing. And our beautiful bread. There's our beautiful bread and the parsley. Beautiful. There you go. 
Thank you, Erica. Beautiful. Simple, cheap, this costs pennies to make. It really does. I think tofu was like $2 and something. Uh, the rice, what does rice cost? You really, not much at all. Uh, the bread we made ourselves. Uh, I buy 50 pound, 50 pound bags of flour. And it took really no time at all. The video is longer than what it really is to make it. And the best part, it is delicious. I've already tasted it. When I tell you it's delicious, I'm going to say thank you, Erica. You're We're going to call this series uh, Make Do at the Cabin. Because we make do with what we have. And we make beautiful and delicious dishes. She also made... Erica, show that cake. Bring that cake over here. We well, are going to have... It's the best cake. When I say it's the best cake, I told her I want it for my birthday. Yes, well, it it's was... a small cake, unfortunately, because she only made one layer. But when I tell you this is delicious, this is delicious. So I'm going to ask her to make a video for you guys. And it's going to be up here. And it's called Make Do What You Have Birthday Cake. If she makes it for me, I want like four layers of this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. I love you. And... I'm going to say bon appetit, and when you get a chance, guys, go out and go visit nature, because it is the best place to be. All right, guys, I love you, and I'll see you soon.